When you think of vampires, you think of those classic bloodsuckers you see in old movies. You think of figures such as Count Dracula and Nosferatu. You imagine them to be one of the most violent fictional creatures. What do you know about vampires? Um, I know that um, they're night crawlers. They drink blood, human blood, and they're cute. Okay. Uh, that they bite people's necks and they suck their blood. Yes. Uh well, I'm pretty sure they're fictional. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. They uh, normally are nocturnal, so they only come out at night. They sleep in coffins and they drink human blood, sometimes cow blood. They suck blood. They suck blood out of people. Okay. Wow, vampires have been around for a very long time. I mean, it's, a, it's a great myth. Um, they're the embodiment of evil. And it all started with Vlad the Impaler, who uh, was also called Count Dracula. He, he uh, uh, impaled 20,000 of his own people when he found out that Genghis Khan was marching into his country, just as a warning to scare Genghis Khan away. Ever since 2005 novel Twilight by Stephanie Meyer, this image has been changed significantly. Have you ever read or seen Twilight? Or saw the movie Twilight? I read the books and then watched the movie. Uh, same here. Yes, I, I did. One time. Um, I haven't read it, but I've seen the video. The movies. No. Yeah, the first time that I saw Twilight, I was with my, uh, with my sister. And uh, she begged me to take her, so I took her. And I thought it was like pretty cool overall. So I decided I'd read the book and see like the true story of it. So I read the book, and it's uh, it's really good. The book did not gain a lot of attention before 2008, when the first movie starring Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart came out. The movie portrays a romance between an average girl and a really attractive vampire, which does not happen often in our everyday society. Why do you think Twilight is popular? Oh, it's the prettiest time of the day. I mean, the sun's going down, and you kind of get, just before the sun disappears over the horizon, it's like gorgeous, especially from this window. You see it's right over top of all Mark Markham. Love it. Twilight's the favorite time of the day. Mm, I think the characters are cool, whatever. I don't know. Because lots of people read the book already, mm -hmm. and they probably liked it, so they probably watched the movie. Probably because it's awesome. It's so, lots of tons of action and stuff, and I'm just flying by, man. I'm, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. It's cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why do you think it's so popular? I don't know. Popular? There's any people about Twilight. You know what? That's a that's a tough question there. <laughs> All right. You sure you want to ask me on the spot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Edward Cullen is a vampire, but unlike the classic vampires, he is a little bit more G-rated. He is a vegetarian, meaning that he does not drink human blood. Also unlike other vampires, he does not burn when he is exposed to sunlight, only sparkles. He is fast, bulletproof, and he can read thoughts. Kind of reminds you of someone. What do you know about Edward Cullen? Hottie! <laughs> Is it, but... No, Edward. He's, uh, he's a kid in my Exploring Technologies class. Oh, really? A little Asian kid. Yeah, he's not oh, bad. He's, he's, Asian, work, uh, he's working on a little mouse trap car for me. Oh, okay. So. I know that Edward Cullen is Stephanie Meyer's version of the vampire. So, different than the other ones, he considers himself a vegetarian because he only survives off the blood of animals. His skin sparkles in the sunlight, so that's why he's always away from school on sunny days. Um, never sleeps. He can. He can't fly, but he can run and jump really fast and high and stuff. And uh, yeah, he's uh, immortal, so he can live forever. Uh, he's ugly. He's a vampire, and he's weird. He's weird. Okay, he's weird. Based on this description, it's easy to compare Edward with regular vampires. But does that make him a true vampire? Yes. Uh, in real life. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, in real life, no, but in the movies, yeah. In real life, yes, but in the movies, yes. Uh, in the movie, I guess. Yeah. But okay. not like the traditional Dracula type. Uh. Um, no, Edward Cullen is not a real vampire. His real name is Robert, Robert Patterson, and uh, he's from England. He hates showering. And um, he's a naturist. He's like 20 years old or something. He and Kirsten Stewart are going out. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. No. In real life, no. Okay. 
That's sure. one of the characters. Sure. Sure, yeah. <laughs> um...